My name is Felix Maringe, a professor of higher education at the Witt School of Education at the University of the Witt Vatersrand. I'm delighted to share with you a recently completed book entitled Higher Education in the Melting Pot, which has taken a couple of years to put together and which deals with the complex matter of the clash of ideologies in our higher education sectors. Higher education is currently being disrupted by several forces, but two of these have special significance for us here in the post-colonial world. On one hand is the globally significant force of the 4IR, which ushers amazing technological and digital developments that will affect every part of our lives from the way we think about the purposes and content of what we teach in our universities, the pedagogies we will deploy to address those new purposes and content, through to how we will conduct assessment of learning, and more importantly, how the internet and its various capabilities will be deployed for direct instruction and assessment in higher education. As Schwab and others have argued, the 4IR will push the boundaries of human thinking and action to limits never before imagined. On the other hand is the equally, if not more seductive ideology of decolonization, which at its core seeks to disrupt the edifices of the Western canon and to restore the dignity, values, knowledges, and the humanness of humanity in a post-colonial world which is afflicted by the careless, exploitative, marginalizing influences of capitalism and neoliberalism. Herein lies the dilemma and contradiction. How will these two ideologies sit together in post-colonial higher education systems? And how might new models of thinking and working be conceptualized to embrace the imperatives of both ideologies? The book has three specific aims. And the first is to explore the conceptual field of the 4IR and decolonization with a view to understanding the epistemological, the ontological, the axiological and methodological assumptions which underpin these ideologies in the context of higher education. The second is to provide empirical evidence of ways in which the 4IR and decolonization are influencing and impacting transformation in higher education. And the third is to highlight the affordances and constraints of integrating and working with both ideological assumptions in higher education. The book has got an opening chapter which addresses the central matter of the clash of ideologies in higher education and provides a broad conceptualization of the two ideas of the 4IR and decolonization. The first part of the book comprises five chapters which provide empirical evidence on the applications and implications of the 4IR in higher education. The second part of the book comprises four chapters which focus similarly on the evidence on the applications and implications of decolonization in higher education. And the book then ends with a synthesis chapter, which explores emerging themes of the affordances and constraints associated with the two ideologies, and provides a set of principles and constructs for what we have called the possibility of an Afro-global epistem, which could shape a new higher education terrain of post-colonial higher education systems. The book has been written by an eminent selection of scholars in South Africa, all at the height of their intellectual capacities, who individually and collectively 
provide a most engaging analysis and argument for the treacherous relationship between two diametrically opposing ideologies, which nevertheless are equally seductive and powerful. I invite you to take advantage of this book. Thank you very much.